Did you know there's a Wonder Woman game coming out? Well, it was announced like almost two years ago now. Way back when, during the Game Awards in 2021, an announcement was made that I don't think anybody had on their bingo cards. I mean, even Jeff Keighley said that himself. Seriously, it was one of the bigger surprises for superhero games. It's something that I wasn't expecting to be made. And ever since it was announced, I've been looking forward to it. It's been one of my most highly anticipated superhero games on the horizon. And that's mainly because of the fact that it's being developed by Monolith. Now, if you don't know, these are the guys behind the shadow of mordor and shadow of war games and if you've played those games i don't know if i'm aware of a more perfect like match made in heaven developer for a game i think the only thing that comes close in terms of such a perfect match is you and then the like button for this video an open world wonder woman game set on the island of themiscara where you obviously get to control and have the power fantasy of playing as wonder woman and then also implementing the incredible nemesis system that monolith did such a good job with from those Shadow of Mordor games, man, that sounds like a 10 out of 10 for me. The only unfortunate thing is we've been waiting for a while for any sort of updates, any sort of information about this game, and while that news drought might have come to an end today. And okay, an article here was posted over on comicbook.com a couple of days ago, and they said the following. On December 9th, 2021, developer Monolith Productions and publisher WB Games announced a Wonder Woman game alongside a teaser trailer. Since then, it's been crickets. We haven't heard anything about the game, let alone seen anything. That said this may have just changed thanks to a new leak over on reddit an eagle-eyed user has discovered what appears to be some type of concept art for the game on the linkedin page of a developer working on the game unfortunately the leak is just concept art so it's not clear how representative it will be of the final product much like the aforementioned teaser trailer and well if you want to know if you want to see it here is the concept art that we're talking about the concept art in question which again was found on a banner of a linkedin page for a developer who was working on the game which has now since been changed the article also mentions to take this with a grain of salt and i'm gonna have to follow suit on that you know i always like to play the middle ground on things like this i always like to temper the expectations and tell you guys that nothing is confirmed until you hear it from wb games themselves with that being said signs are pointing to this concept art being real and for the game and well it looks awesome if that's true it looks fantastic and it definitely gets me intrigued as to what this game could be one of the most fun parts about the shadow of war games is that you get to build your own army of orcs and if there's something similar to that system in this wonder woman game building out your army of amazonians or maybe even humans that could be so cool because it's mentioned in the synopsis for the game when they dropped the teaser trailer two years ago it says that this is a single player open world action game and it will introduce an original story set in the dc universe and allow players to become diana of themiscara in the fight to unite her amazon family and the humans from the modern world i mainly mention that because while clearly the person on the left is not an amazonian as far as we can tell they got some crazy cybernetic suit on something that's advanced looking and with the synopsis saying that you know we're gonna fight to unite the amazons and the humans from the modern world well then maybe this is like a more futuristic dc universe where humans have this futuristic tech i think that this is a human who indeed like i said has some futuristic tech and will be one of the people that you can recruit as part of your army alongside some amazons which we can also see to the right of wonder woman and then maybe we're getting a glimpse there from the background as to what this open world can look like and man is it going to be beautiful the wonder woman design for this game is also incredible i think she looks fantastic and i wonder if they're going to implement some of the gear and things like that that they had in the shadow of war games that would be super fun to just add an element of customization and it also adds to the credibility of this concept art potentially being real that the design of wonder woman from this concept art lines up with how she looked in the teaser trailer this is all very interesting this is the biggest update that we have gotten for this wonder woman game in freaking two years man but i am beyond excited you know now a question becomes here could this concept art leaking out there be a sign that we might be getting an actual update for the wonder woman game relatively soon the game awards back in 2021 is when we first saw this game unveiled to the world and maybe later this year in december when the game awards roll around again we might get our first update for the game an official one at least i will say though i think this game is still quite a ways away and that's fine take as long as you need monolith to give us the perfect wonder woman game but i mainly say that because it was a cgi trailer and it falls in line with what a lot of game developers do they announce a massive project with a cg trailer and then don't talk about it for several years 
mainly because the CGI trailer is to get people enticed to want to apply and work at the studio. It's a recruitment tactic to try and get as much talent as possible, to get as much high level talent as possible. And hopefully it has worked, even though I'm sure a lot of the people working at Monolith are already incredibly talented. It's going to be all hands on deck for Wonder Woman. DC games and WB games for their DC brand need a huge win. And I'm hoping that the Wonder Woman game is going to be one of the greatest superhero games of all time. A lot of the right puzzle pieces are in place for that. And with that being said, let me now kick it to you guys. Sound off with your thoughts in the comment section below. First of all, did you know that there was a Wonder Woman game? I know a lot of people might not have even remembered that trailer from two years ago or didn't even know that it was announced. And second of all, what do you think about that concept art? Do you think it's real? And what do you think it could mean from what we're seeing there? Sound off with all your thoughts in the comments below. I've been Caboose and I'll see you guys later.